this evening when we were having a formal public hearing. So if you want to go ahead and make your presentation, we'll go from there. Okay. Um, just First, say, introduce yourself. My name is Adam Salvi, um, son of Stephen and Pat Bothell, who are the landowners. Thank you. Um, where we're talking about is uh, Route 77, Bothell's garage. It will be located right here. Um, 88, 90, 94, and 96 Ocean House Road are all owned by the same property owner. Um, this land right here is depicted as Rita D. Preston, who is also a family member. Um, the area in question, I didn't put key on, but would be the red on your map. Um, that would be the area for the protection permit. Um, it's also shown here. Um, it would be the little triangle. Uh, we plan to plant uh, about 700 high bush blueberry plants um, in the area. As it stands right now on your map, uh, the clearing on the aerial view lines up with the northeast side of the striped area. striped area is what is planted as it stands right now. Um, from the buffer line uphill is planted right now with blueberries. Um, the lower half of the clearing there is no planned activity in. Um, planting is all to be carried out in the striped area. Uh, the green area is going to be part of the project, but not, it is not included in the permit. I just put it on there for scale as to, you, you can see the trees on the aerial view. Uh, question. So if the green stripes are currently planted with blueberries, yes. does that mean that there are some blueberry bushes within the buffer right now? No, there are not. Oh, okay. Uh, the, the green stripes are the clearing on your map, which this map was uh, from 2001 before any work has been done. This was the land in its natural state. So the blueberries that we have planted were in the natural clearing. Oh, okay. That was pre-existing. Gotcha. So there, there are bushes in the buffer, but there was no clearing done to plant them. There are no, no bushes in the buffer oh. as of right now. Is it correct that the, the bold dotted line is the edge of the resource protection? Yes. On the aerial view, it is the red dash line is the 250-foot setback. And on this map, it is the black dash line. The and the difference between the striped green and the dark green? Uh, the striped green is what is pre already cleared. Um, and already planted with blueberries. Half of it is, the other half will be planted in the spring. Okay, and the dark, the solid green? The solid green is on your aerial view, the, tri the remaining triangle of trees that I have cleared but is not in the buffer. Could, I'm sorry, there's like this area right here appears to be in the buffer. It but is. It's this, this is this section here, okay. which is cleared. Um, I, I didn't show exactly where the... Can the you just talk, talk, in, oh, yeah. talk in the microphone okay. so we can all hear the yeah. question? I, want, I was asking about this corner right here that's striped and appears to be within the buffer. Right. Right here. The, the area that is colored is the proposed clearing. Um, the red area. The red area. What is green, green lines is what is, what is previously a natural clearing. So it's basically 
this area is the entire plantation. Just, I, gave, I put it on there, I, it's, it's confusing, but I put it on there for a, so you have a general overall idea of where, where I'm going. Okay, so no, there are no not, blueberry bushes on no, the no, stripes no. right now? No. Okay. It would be in the upper right hand corner of the circle on your aerial view as the map is oriented here is what is planted with blueberries currently. Um, I do have an aerial view. Um, I'm not sure if you still have it from the workshop. Uh, current Google Earth picture that shows what is planted as of right now. Um, the area that I'm wishing to clear is at a 102 elevation to a 94 elevation. The actual edge of the wetlands is at 76. So I'm 20 feet plus or minus above the wetland area. Um, the reason I'm not choosing another area of the land, um, the circle of trees that looks like it is, has been planted was Christmas trees planted by my grandfather, which have since been harvested. That area now is all pasture for cattle that is set up. Um, in the site in red, I have a total of 106 trees that I would like to remove. Uh, 65 of them are hardwood of, with a diameter of less than 6 inches. 12 are softwood with a diameter of less than 6 inches. 16 are hardwood, 6 to 12 inches. 9 are softwood, 6 to 12 inches. There's one hardwood over 12 inches and two softwood over 12 inches. Um, I'm not going to be changing the grade at all. Uh, the natural grade is going to be kept. Um, so there is no, there's not going to be any changing of water flow direction. Um, I am going to be replanting with grass cover prior to having the blueberries planted. Um, the extent of the work could take about two and a half months. Um, all erosion control measures will be in place per state of Maine requirements. Um, at the workshop, um, it was requested for a wetland package. Um, that's packet C on your, this should be a handout package with yours. Um, that was done by John Mitchell. Um, the plans as well were done by John Mitchell. I think it was Dale Brewer that wrote. D Dale Brewer did, did this, but the package okay. was put together the first time for gotcha. John Mitchell. Okay. Um, this plan um, we were in for a prior subdivision approval. Um, this, this plan has the open space on it. It also has all of the current property lines on it uh, for any question on that. Um, I am going to request one, a waiver. Um, it would be Section 2, uh, request a waiver to change the one foot required top of contours to two foot intervals. Uh, the one foot got really confusing on the map. Sorry, yeah, I didn't on the uh, one foot top of the lines got really confusing on the map. Um, so John Mitchell and I decided to put it to two foot contour lines. 
instead of one foot. Uh, and also, uh, the stormwater plan, I'm requesting waiver for as I'm not changing this grade, slope, or water direction for any of the work. Are you removing vegetation, though? I'm removing trees. There is no underlying vegetation, no. There is no, there's currently no grass or moss or anything to that. So those are the two waivers that you're requesting? Yes, that is correct. And do we have a high intensity soils report? Uh, you do not. Uh, so are you requesting that that also be waived? Yes. We, uh, Maureen and I, talk, and I talked about it and... I'm sorry? Maureen and I talked about it and we thought that this would cover it, but because I'm not in the actual wetlands, I'm in the buffer. The closest I will get to the actual RP1 wetland is 146 feet at its closest point. So you are asking that we waive the, because the yes. provision does require that specific piece of information and you're asking that we waive that also? Yes. Anyone have any, are you finished? Yes. Basic presentation? Okay, anyone have any questions before we open it up for public comment? Could I just clarify the red area? The red are area. trees going to be removed or have trees been removed? Trees are going to be removed. Going they have not be. been removed as, as of yet. Okay. And those trees are Christmas trees? No, they're uh, on page two of my proposal um, on section 11. Uh, there's a list of the trees that are there as of right now. So what is the red circle then? Explain that again. The red circle was just to clarify the area that I'm talking about on the... Just the general area? General area. Okay. But the, these trees that you were talking to clear, are they, uh, they, they're just naturally occurring? Or yes. Fine? No, they're just naturally occurring. And so within the buffer, you'll clear the trees in the red area, but then you'll plant blueberry trees in a little bit of that green striped area that is currently the, has no growth on it, but it's still within the buffer. Is that right? That's correct. Okay. I thought blueberries were for bushes. Bushes, yeah. Oh, did I call them trees? <laughs> yes. So. No so you're requesting the permit not for the planting, but for the clearing? Yes. That. Okay. I, I suppose it would cover both the clearing and the planting. And Maureen, what, what specifically about the site? Oh, I, I don't think you need a permit to add more plantings into an RP1 buffer. You, you know, but filling and regrading, often when, you are re, when you're planting something, you might trigger another thing. So to answer that question, just to put the blueberries in there, if you don't trigger, if you're not regrading or filling, you could probably add those without triggering your resource protection. Program. Okay, so that's why the green striped area is not, some of the part of the green striped area that appears to be in a restricted zone is not part of the permit. Yeah, I don't think, like I said, I don't think you would need a permit just to add plantings to an area that you want to keep vegetated. However, if you're, if you're ripping up you know, even if there's no trees there, um, if you're digging and you're, you're disturbing the vegetation that is growing there, you might need a permit. Mm, but I do see that you need a permit for agriculture. Yeah. And so would that include planting and I'm, harvesting the blueberries? I, I am more than happy to take this question back to people who can answer it for you. Um, that's a, a code officer determination. I can ask him, I can get an attorney to give you an interpretation on that. But it does make sense that if you do need a permit for that area, we, we the planning board deal with it all at the same time. Right. Um, so I will check. Yeah, that would be a question whether, if 
if you're not getting a permit, then I would think we would make it, want, need to make it clear that we're not 